This is the real question here. How do you critique a movie that tried to be campy and shitty? How do you critique a movie with no shame? It's almost impossible. Machete Kills. So Machete Kills is the sequel to Machete in which you have Danny Trejo as Machete who kills people with... That's right. Machetes. And you have your terrible yet fun bloodbath exploitation movie that you come to expect from a machete movie. Now Machete Kills, like Machete, is a grindhouse film. Yeah, you know Death Proof and Planet Terror, you remember the grindhouse movies? The bummer is when you're watching this movie, it doesn't have the digital shitty grain that the other grindhouse movies had. You know how they made it look like sprockets were jumping and it had like scratches and dust in it? They made it look like a film print that's been around for about three decades? Yeah, Machete Kills doesn't have any of that, but rest assured friends, it's a grindhouse movie. And in that, it does its job really well. The movie's not gonna win any prestigious awards outside of Fangoria, but I'm just saying, you don't have to be admired by the Academy to have done your job well. I just saw the cast in this movie and I was like, that's awesome. This movie has a great, legit cast. Mel Gibson's in the movie. I have heard his answering machine recording message. And now he's in Machete Kills. And introducing Carlos Estevez as the president of the United States. That's Charlie Sheen, guys. As a marketing standpoint and just comedy, that's brilliant. Because not only is it his name, but it just goes to show you that in Hollywood, if you call a Jewish producer by his actual Jewish name, if he's your boss, you have to become Mexican again. That's a rule of Hollywood that we didn't know. And now we do know. And Machete Kills takes everything to the next level in a really cool kind of way. I mean, Machete was a total exploitation movie. This is a exploitation movie that's almost like a shitty James Bond movie that has more spy gadgetry and starts dabbling into sci-fi. The first trailer you see at the beginning of Machete Kills is Machete Kills again and I'm not gonna ruin it for you, but it's, you watch it and you're like, so this is where the franchise is going. Yeah, the movie is also a bit sloppy, I know, when I just told you that you're not supposed to take the movie seriously. In terms of construction, you still need a movie that does work. And I'm just saying, as a cohesive line of storytelling, it doesn't always work. There's a lot of shit that happens in Machete Kills. It's almost like a Judd Apatow movie. I walked out of Machete Kills going, that could have been a half an hour shorter and it would have been great. It would have been perfect. Just like this happens with Machete and then he goes to here and then he goes to here and then he goes to here. You feel like one or two of these segues, these plot lines, could have been taken out, spliced together. You would have had a movie that's a half an hour shorter and it's just fine. In the end, Machete Kills was made for people who enjoyed the Grindhouse movies, who enjoyed Machete. It's, if you didn't enjoy those movies, you're not going to like Machete Kills. You're going to hate it. Kind of baffling to me that a lot of people praised Machete and Machete Kills is kind of getting shit on by critics. That simply tells me in the course of a couple years between Machete and Machete Kills, critics forgot how to have fun with a movie like this. It's a live action cartoon or a live action graphic novel that was made to just Please, that really simple part of your brain that's like, I want to see exploitation, blood violence. Too many characters, too many plot lines, but a lot of bloody fun with Machete. I will say Machete Kills is a great time. No alcohol required. I'm waiting for Machete Kills again. I'm just saying. So your favorite campy ass, corny, fun, bloody movie that's supposed to be campy ass, corny, fun, bloody movie. Whatever it is, comment below, let me know. And just so you guys know, I'm actually going to Las Vegas. Like at the time you're watching this, I will be in Las Vegas. So hey, if you're in Las Vegas, tweet me. But I will review Tom Hanks going for the Oscar when I get back on Monday. Until then, have a fun weekend catching up on my other videos or going out and doing normal people shit. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.